Hello, Dennis Kappel here, Dennis Kappel Horsemanship. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're, I'm here with a, a fairly newborn foal. I think she's just about a week old. And we're actually going to put a halter on this filly and, and lead her. So I, I thought it would be interesting for you to see the process that I use. I'm, you know, they're horses the day they're born. And, and that's, I'm going to just treat her as I would a full-grown horse. And I'm going to just... You know, start getting involved with her here, and naturally she's she thinks it's supper time, so she's not interested in me whatsoever. So first thing I got to do is is uh, get her attention here a little bit, and she walked off there and just kind of she's still thinking about eating naturally, you know, and can't hardly blame her there. And now she's hiding out behind her mother, so I'll just slip around the other side here. And, Okay, now she's she's got both eyes on me right now, so I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to just you know kind of let her be, because I want to make I want to make her looking at me the easiest thing to do. Now she's just walking off, kind of running off out there. I'm going to get over here now and get between her and her mother and just wait. Yeah. Be careful when I touch her because there might be a, a repercussion from her about me touching her. So now I've got my hand right underneath her neck. Okay. And I'm going to just pull just slightly towards me again. And I'm waiting. Every time her feet move, I'm letting this filly feel the release of pressure. Right here. Just going to slip this halter on. I want to make this as non-eventful as I can. I'm, I'm not going to create a big trauma if I can keep from from doing that. And the, and the way that to keep from doing that with these babies is to not make them feel trapped. And uh, by that I mean, you know, if if I were to Halter's pretty big. <laughs> It'll be all right for what we're doing tonight. Uh, I'm going to just stand on the side over here. I've got the halter on, and I'm going to apply just a little bit of pressure to the side of her nose, and I'm going to help her by pushing her hip away. And when her hip moved away, she stepped into complete release right there. Pull on her face, move her hip. And every time she turns and faces me, she gets released. I pull just a little bit on her nose, wait on her there when the hip moved. See, I'm not going to try to hold her. I'm going to just position myself where I can let her find a release by moving her hip away from me and facing up to me. Move her hip away from me and face up to me. And I'm going to just keep walking a circle here. My goal is to have this filly leading naturally. But I'm not going to get out in front of her and just start pulling because I, I would be in a position where she would want to resist that by pulling back. So when I'm standing on the side of her and I touch her nose with the halter, see every time I pull and she, and she gets her thought process down to those back feet, there's release. So I'm making it very easy for this filly to face up to me. Mother being real cooperative here. We're just walking a little circle here. I see her feet starting to follow me. Go the other way here.
at this point I don't care which side I'm on I want to get her comfortable on on both sides if I pull too hard here she'll you know there's a real good chance of her resisting that resisting that enough and to where she might want to rear up and flip over and I don't want to do that I don't want to I don't want to create that kind of trauma with her I'm letting her just work out that feel that halter's pretty low on her nose because it's, <laughs> it's too big for her so she's working out that feel and finding out that every time she faces up to me she gets released and that's the main point Look at that. I just held steady and she moved her feet directly to me. Set it up again. Oh, very good. That time it didn't take hardly any pressure at all on her head and she just moved and softly came with me. Go back the other direction here. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands on her here and put my hands right back here where the saddle would be. And just keep my hand on there. And she's resisting that by Tensing up, <laughs> she's going to jump here a little bit, see if she can get that my hand to come off, and I'm going to just leave my hand on there. Now she's accepting it. She's comfortable. So essentially theory here is we're not only getting her broke to, to lead <laughs> but we're desensitizing her normal reaction to jump out from under anything that gets on her back when she's just a week old so we're we're essentially preparing this filly we're pre-paving her mindset <laughs> so that when she gets old enough to ride she's already going to know how to to handle what she's feeling by getting comfortable with it. And that's the whole point of anything here. We've got a foreign object on her head. She don't see the point of that. You know, why should she want to follow that around? So it's up to us, if we're going to be involved with them, to arrange it so that we can make the right thing easy, which is that attention coming to me is, is the right thing. Very good. When I get that pressure and this is pressure I mean it's not a lot when I pull on that and she feels that feel I'm waiting I'm waiting there when when her thoughts got all the way down to her feet she put the slack in there I didn't put the slack in there but she put the slack in now she's just kind of lipping on that again I'm gonna just wait wait here if I pull too hard here it won't work but if I just stay steady move off to that there very good. See, I'm at, I'm in a not the best position right there, so I move on to the side. Very good. When I when I'm on the side of her, I'm in position to where I can make it a lot easier for her to come with me. Asking a lot of her to go away from her mother. She's consistently finding that when she feels, if she feels that pressure on the back of her head, if she just comes forward, 
the pressure instantly leaves and completely What do you think? Pretty good for just a week, I believe. You know, and and, and this is a, probably the third time that she's she's had, fourth time she's had a, oh, oh four days old. I'm sorry. I th I th <laughs> so she's only four days old. It's not even a week old. And I believe this is, but maybe the third time that she's had a halter on. And uh, so, anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed this. And and the point, my point being is that. <clears throat> I, I didn't create a situation to try to force anything onto this little filly. I, I, I arranged it so that we can make the right thing extremely easy. And anything that, that she didn't understand, we just waited. We just waited until, now we got something starting here that, that we, we can't let go on. See her lip in there and starting to bite. So even from today, it, it, it's not cute. So when I, when I see that take place, now that calls for a little more aggression. See, we we can't we can't allow cute little pay, playfulness <laughs> to spoil the opportunity for a horse to be all they can be out in the future with. In my opinion, obnoxious behavior. Anytime a horse lips on you, anytime a horse wants to bite you, that's obnoxious behavior, even when they're four days old. So she's wanting to she's wanting to play, she's wanting to she's wanting to just just be playful. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna direct that energy. Let's direct that energy. This is forward motion right here. Forward motion. Get up. Now this, <clears throat> let's take that hip away. Let's change direction. There, forward motion. I brought the energy up a little bit more here. Oop. <laughs> there, my my equipment failure here. <laughs> the reason that I brought that energy up was because of she thought she could take a little chunk out of my hand. Yeah. Let's do this. I think I can tie this off. Okay. Now, <laughs> we've got things modified here where uh, <clears throat> I believe the halter will stay on. So I'll go back at this again. This little baby is probably wondering what happened right now, you know, because she she thought she could come up and, and kind of have her way, and and I I drew a line. It, not to be mean to the baby, but to maintain the two most important things when it comes to the relationship between a horse and a person there's got to be one leader, and there's got to be mutual trust. I got to trust her, she's got to trust me, and there's got to be mutual respect. Well, she crossed a line of respect. You know, it was playful, and no harm was done. 
The only harm would have been done if I wouldn't have noticed it and left it alone. <laughs> so let's go back here now that we've got the halter where it kind of fits and, and ask her to step forward. There's forward. Okay. Just send her around there. I'm going to take her hip away. Just go forward this way. There we go. Very good. enough one way let's go back the other way very good send her around See, I'm not making her do anything I've just increased the energy enough that we've got we got some activity taking place that we can utilize energy and direct that energy direct that energy there that what I call overcoming resistance right there. Take her around this way. Now this just let that energy back down. And see if we haven't reestablished respect. She should be quiet. She should be okay with me touching her. And she shouldn't be thinking about reaching, <laughs> reaching over and grabbing a hold of me. Now look at her softening up. See that eye softening up there right now? This is a this is agreement in a four day old baby. Okay. Let's see if she won't lead here now. Very good. Very good. Very good. My experience has taught me that what you just saw me do in maintaining the respect is one of the most neglected parts of horse handling I believe that there are. And, and most of these little babies kind of learn how to be uh, uh, in charge of their human owners. <laughs> through that lack of respect. So I didn't do much, but I brought the energy up enough that the baby said, oh, I don't believe I should have done that. And then and then we balanced it out and then we can soften up. And I love a horse as much as anybody, I do. And I will be kind and soft, as as kind and soft as I can in a balanced way so that we maintain healthy respect and we raise trust every time that we handle the animal. It, it's not just once in a while kind of hit and miss, but every time I come out and get a hold of, of a horse, regardless of how old they are, I'm going to have the same thought process. I'm going to have a clear middle picture of what I want them to do when they do what I want, which is in my clear mental picture, they're going to experience complete an absence of, of any pressure whatsoever. They're going to be in that sweet spot. When they step out of my picture, they're going to be they're going to meet with resistance enough that they choose to find that sweet spot back. And that's that's exactly what you saw play out here today, you know, with a four-day-old foal.